Okay, so this is the last part of the ghost guide for obscurity. Zen, throw next style. Um, we're gonna talk about the mindset of attacking King's Row A. Attack. Let's go. Um, so you're going out, um, you do the those initial span. You wanna be keeping your harmony orb on the vine, because vine will usually be the one taking the most damage. Because he's in the front with the shield. Uh, carrying the default for the default, staying together, being ready for any picks. Ryan's over here, Hanzo's over here. Ryan calls Hanzo, you want to be discording. E button calling discords, you always want to be calling discords so it helps your Ryan better judge who to target. Because if there's a lot of options for the Ryan, since he's so close, he doesn't really see the full fight at hand, so it really helps him. For him to hear, oh, this person's discorded, he looks for that person and then he calls that person. Your discord doesn't tell the whole team to kill that person, it just, it's more to tell the Ryan on who to call it. It's more like a help, an aid. So you call that discord on the Hanzo and then you kill him. Um, so you're out here, you can find a volley, um, look for a pick. You're out here, you're breaking shield, breaking shield, breaking shield, breaking shield, if there's a fuck up. Discord, call the Discord. In the in the fuck up phase, and the Ryan puts shield away, um, you can just Discord the Ryan, and then just call the Discord on Ryan, and then that may allow for the fuck up to be Ryan because he has low shield and he's Discorded, and you can kill him easily. Um, there's another fuck up, like there's a brig here or other position, you can just Discord the brig, speed, kill. Um, you can stay back. Volley when you're not shooting, and then when you're in fight, just to in fight, you release it, and then do standard, maximize damage. Um, there, there's Jonak plays where as you're defaulting over here, you can charge, and then try to get a frag. If you're mechanically gifted, um, you're not really trouble. Zen is really safe in goats actually, because he's behind, and it's hard for them to really speed onto you, because you have the resources to be the to not die, with bubble and DM, shield, and cookie, and stuff like that. So you can, as the rest of the team is defaulting here, you can just charge up a shot, look at the Ernie Zen, and then boom. Or you can get the Zarya, and boom. Or you can be really greedy, get the break, and boom. And then your team will still be there. They'll be like over there, and then you'll be getting the support. Um, I don't suggest this when you first play Zen, but as you get comfortable, you can start doing that. Um, so your default thing, fuck ups, discord, key, um, what else, Alt. um, you want to be maximizing damage, you, you don't really want to be sitting around hiding for anything, you just want to constantly be in the default, you don't want to be, if the Ryan's right here, you don't want to be right next to him, you kind of want to be like right here, um, you want to, positioning, you want to have a balance of, being in a position where you don't die, where you're safe, but you also want to have a damage where you have the most value, because the farther you are, the less of a chance you hit your shot, because it's a projectile. So finding that medium between being safe, but being being far enough to be safe, but being close enough to have value. Um, that balance is really hard for Zens, um, especially if the team's aggressive. Um, so yeah, um, also corners are good, if you're, if you're really, um, if there's a somber on you for somber goats, or if it's dive, you need to call when you're being dove, so your diva can help you, if it's full on dive, your break can help you, um, ult, you want to be maximizing damage like I just said, so you can get trans as soon as possible, use trans exclusively for, for grab, unless you're winning the default, and if you're on attack and you can win the fight using a trans. If your Ryan shield breaks, but like you guys can tell like you can win the fight if you have grabs, if you have the sustain where, oh, my team can't die for staring him on a second and using this time you can kill this person, you can use trans. But usually you want to plan it beforehand because if you plan it mid fight, it can go very wrong. And then you can lose a future fight alone just because the Zarya is grabbing you on trans. So just be aware of that. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Um, if you lose, call ult. Use your ult accordingly. If 
if you win, you're with a team. Um, unlike popular belief, you're not the one on cart because the Discord's really valuable. Your diva is because of mobility. Move up, take space, Discord, blah 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 blah. Um, yeah. Uh, if there's other comps, a bunker, and they're on top of Mega. Um, like I said with previous videos, you're just defaulting to statue, and then you're DMing speed. Um, it on speed. I'm kind of slow right now. And then just go up here, Discord the Bastion or whoever's whoever the Ryan's targeting, and that's really it. Um, you want to keep Orb on Ryan, but if somebody's low, you have to heal them so they don't die. Because if one person dies, that really affects the chance of you guys winning that fight. Um, yeah, that's it for goats. Um, hope these were helpful. Um, see you next round.